In this video, I will show you how to cut along internal lines on your patterns and how to make holes with convert to hole. It is so quick and easy, you'll be cutting out holes all over your patterns. Welcome to Bobbin Talk. So let's start with a yellow dress that I already have created. I have some sequins along the hem and I have a sleeveless top. Let's start with a sleeveless top. Let's say that I want a little bit of a trim here along the armhole. We want to cut out a pattern piece with that. We'll select the edit pattern tool, right click on the armhole line and offset as internal line. I'm going to choose one inch and only one offset because I only want to do one piece of pattern here. Click OK. We have our internal line and now along this internal line, I can create a cutout. Stay in the edit pattern tool come to the internal line, right click on it and choose cut. If you just cut, you will separate the pattern piece and it will stay away, but you do not have a sewing line. You can always come to, let's say segment sewing tool, click and sew the two pattern pieces, but I will show you a quicker, easier way to do that. So I'm going to go back a couple of steps. We have the internal line. I'm going to go back to edit pattern tool, right click on the line and choose cut and sew. Cut and sew will not only separate the pattern pieces, but it will also create the sewing automatically. So now if I wanted to put a different fabric here, so I'm going to select the pattern piece that I want to create as a trim and I can assign the chiffon, silk chiffon pink that I have here. Click simulate and you will see it here appear in the 3D window. That was super easy and you can create that along any internal line that you like. If you learned something new, please like this video. Now let's take a look how we can create holes. For that, I will come to my skirt pattern, make sure that I am in the correct area. So I clicked here, I can see the blue dot here and come to internal lines tool, select internal ellipse for this particular purpose. Obviously you can select any of the internal lines, rectangle, whatever you like to make. I'm going to hold shift for a perfect circle and just create my circle. Release when you're happy and I will make one more free form shape inside here and I'm ready to cut out my holes. Let's come to our transform pattern tool, click on it, select the whole shape, right click on it and convert to hole. That's it. It's as easy as that. My hole is right here. Let's make one more so you can see it clearly. Watch the 3D window. I'm going to select the shape that I want, right click on it and convert to hole. You can see the hole right here and you will notice that it looks more like a diamond shape, not a circle. And that's simply because I have my particle distance at 20. If you want to see finer shapes, go to property editor, particle distance and bring a lower number. So we have our perfect cutouts and we can make that in any shape, anywhere you like. If you're wondering how to make the sequence on this dress, just check out my video on how to make sequence. It happens to be on this particular dress. If you like what you saw in this video, if you learned something, please like the video. Feel free to leave any comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. And please subscribe to Bobbin Talk so you don't miss any of the new videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching.